I am joined now by the dating darling, Candace McKenzie, who is going to break down Stacey's dates and tell us what went right and what went wrong. Hi, Candace. Hello, darling. Air kisses again. Mwah. Mwah. I totally messed that yeah, yeah. up. If yeah. we were on a date, that would yeah. be really yeah. awkward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not taking a second date with you. Oh, yeah. Up I just failed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you call yourself the dating darling. Yes. And now, you're pronouncing it the right way. So I am. Yay. I am. Yes, okay, yes. good. How did you become a dating expert? You know, honestly, um, I went to the University of Southern California Meat Market. Oh. Yes, and I got degrees, and if you're a big-time loser, then you can just come date me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I got yeah, that degree, too. Yeah, I made a lot of bad dating mistakes, and what I realized was I was really fixated in this fantasy mode that just because I believed in love, the universe was just going to open up for me, and my Prince Charm was, was going to be in front of me. And then I realized, you know what, no, you do have to put a little effort into this. You do you have to think about the big picture. You do need to strategize just a little bit when you're looking for the love of your life. So I wrote a book called Be a Dating Darling, and uh, now I'm living my passion being a dating coach, helping other frustrated singles out there. I can imagine you must have a lot of business. Dating is so difficult that to have mm. a coach is probably a real leg up on the competition. Right, but I think a lot of people go into it negatively in that sense, and they think, oh, dating is so difficult. Or the worst, because we live here in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. I hear that all the time. Dating is so difficult in Los Angeles. Oh, that it's for everybody. Really? Yeah, it's what you make of it. But you do have to practice. You do have to get out there. You do have to think about what you want. You know, you can't just expect the first person that you go out with is going to be the one. So mm. just like you wouldn't go out there and buy the first car that you saw, you wouldn't go out there and buy the around. Yeah, you wouldn't go out there and buy the first house. Why would you do that when you're looking for the love of your life? Now so. speaking, you said practice. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about speed dating? You know, I think speed dating is a fabulous positive venue for people that are just trying to get out there again. You know, they're newly divorced, possibly they're just getting over through a breakup. Maybe they're not well versed with the opposite sex. They're quite shy. Mm -hmm. That's great in the sense. But also, too, speed dating really kind of opens up the concept that it is a numbers game that we were talking about before. You mm -hmm. need to see a lot of different people, but you can walk away with it in a positive experience that you know you actually enjoy just talking to the opposite sex and oh, this is what dating is all about again. So it's a good way to get back into the game yeah. and then also sort of see what you're looking for, maybe. Right. But you also have to be careful because you have such a short time, five minutes or less, to make that first good impression, which we're going to see here. Okay. What can happen in the pitfalls that yes. happen Now, Stacy yeah. did the speed dating. We're going to check out her first date, who mm. she left a little speechless. Hi, I'm Stacy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> do you have any kids? Uh, I do. Oh, how many? Two. Boys or girls? Two girls. How old? Uh, seven and eight. No crazy ex-wives though, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, we'll move on. Okay, so that was a little awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that was very, very interesting in the sense of, you know, again, you don't want to ask a negative question or mm. negative comments. Oh. Negative questions or negative comments really warrant a yes and no from your date. Um, and again, it can come off a bit judgmental. Put the um, person on the spot. Yes, yes. It's good to ask, you know, um, so you ha how many kids do you have? But just bringing up, you know, oh, so do you have any crazy ex-wives or let's move on. Instead, of course, you want to ask those specific questions questions, but instead to make it more positive or an open-ended question where you're going to find out about the person, get more information, is Stacy could have said, oh, so you have kids, that's great. So um, tell me more, if you don't mind. How is your relationship with your ex-wife? Okay. She can still be funny and cute, okay. but yeah, just keep it more so positive. So a good way to still find out the same information, but just not put the negative slant on it. Right, and don't do something that you're just getting a yes and no answer from. You know, okay. have something where a person's going to open up just a little bit for uh, you. Because remember, you're using this time to gauge, is, if, is this person worthy of a second or third date for you too as well. This is really good advice yeah. and I want to take a look at her next date. Mm. Boxers or briefs? I'm a brief guy. Tank tops or t-shirts? T-shirts. Jeans or slacks? Jeans. Am uh, I scaring you a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> Well, that was definitely entertaining for me, but yeah. I don't think Maurice thought so. Well, um, asking, am I scaring you, is probably not the best thing for a girl to do <laughs> since Fatal Attraction came out. Yeah, so probably not. not a good thing. And I kind of felt like I was on a Hanes commercial. Look at you. Boxers briefs, t-shirts, you know, t-shirts. Hey, that's dogs. an important question, boxers are brief. And it's great to be funny, but it's a bit performing, performance anxiety. She's got such a short time, and I'm sure she's thinking I've got to ask funny questions. Ask funny, nice questions, but ask important 
important ones. Okay. Instead, she could have opened him up more by the positive questions by saying, oh, location, make sure he's not going to fly off to Japan. You know, how is that uh. going to work? What, his age range, does he have kids, does he not have kids? If she's looking for a serious relationship, make sure he's divorced and not separated because that's a big difference. I guess all of these might yeah, be a little yeah. bit more important yeah. than doctors or briefs. Okay. Yeah, religion, okay. too. If religion's an important part of your life, to you want to ask, ask those questions. Yeah. Okay, good advice. Now we've yeah. got to see the date with Joey from New York. <laughs> Stacy. I'm Joey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes, I am. Oh. New York and New Jersey. Oh, really? What are you doing out here? Stand up comedy. You are? Yes, I am. You're a comedian. I, I love try. That. I try. I try to make people laugh, so I don't Okay, what's it? Give me a bit. Oh, come on. Now tell me, is that what this is? Yeah. Like you're a little lonely and you just want the man in your dreams? Yeah, I'm a little looking for a husband. Okay, I'm going to say that Stacy redeemed herself. I mean, Joy really seemed to like her. Well, I mean, of course Stacy redeemed herself. I mean, my goodness. We, she's courageous. She's putting herself on the hot seat. Yes. So we do have to applaud her in that sense. Not easy to do. But what I saw here was very interesting. She was mirroring, um, practicing positive body language. Oh. Mirroring is a psychology term. We're yeah. actually picking up off the other person's behavior. So, you know, I'm, I'm smiling like you're smiling. We're I'm sitting up straight. straight. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And they were pitter-patter. They share that sort of funny bone about themselves. So you can definitely see a little bit of a chemistry and a connection there. So positive oh. body language is very, very important. Again, if you're sitting back, if you're crossing your arms, it's not a very open no. type of body behavior. If your eyes are all over the place, okay. you may come off if you had too much cup of coffee or you're on some sort of illegal substance. <laughs> so you just got to be careful <laughs> to be relaxed. So yeah, you'd be very relaxed and you have to actually work off of the person's positive body language. But also, she was honest. Mm -hmm. You must be honest about what you're looking for. She said, I'm looking for marriage and for children. And she did say that. So good for Stacy. She redeemed herself. And oh. she was very honest in that sense. I'm so glad Yay. that she redeemed herself and we gave her a chance to do so. <laughs> Candace, thank you so much. Such amazing tips. For more of Candace's advice, check out her book, Be a Dating Darling.